Hey, welcome to my very first video for PBX How-To's. This one's on upgrading the Ipsy circuit packs for a non-duplicated Ipsy system, meaning there's only one Ipsy per gateway. So let's get started. Go ahead and log in using your credentials. Uh, customers are fine because uh, this is a customer upgradable patch, firmware, patch, firmware. Let's go firmware. Uh, as you can see here, I have duplicated servers, but that does not mean I have duplicated uh, ipsies. <clears throat> so once you're in here and you're you're in the server itself, go ahead and click on server maintenance under administration. Here you'll see a list of items on the left. And what you want to do is you want to download the files. You want to download the firmware files uh, from uh, where you saved them. And the firmware you can get off of the Avaya support website, which you need to log in for. So go ahead and register on there and download the uh, updates if you need them. So anyway, so we're going to go ahead and click on uh, download files. And we're going to locate them uh, on our hard drive. I Where I particularly save them is in my Avaya patching folder. But as you can see here, it's the file name. Uh, that I downloaded straight from Avaya's support website for my Ipsys, and my Ipsys are TN2312 uh, Bravo Pauls. So click download, and it takes a few minutes, and once it does, you'll get a little message up here that says the file's been successfully downloaded, and you're ready to rock and roll. So uh, first things first, uh, get an Ipsy version. Uh, query all your Ipsys to see what they are. Uh, make sure you are updating the ipsys to the newer firmware and not from the older one so the older one uh as you can see here is hardware version 30 and firmware 49 and my ipsy boards as you can see are tn2312 bps and this is the only way you can update these boards well there may be other ways but i can tell you this is the easiest way and hopefully avaya uh, gets it in their head someday to allow you to upgrade all the circuit packs this way because this is a really nice, easy way to do it. I'm going to read this carefully. Once new firmware has been downloaded to an Ipsy, the upgrade cannot be can uh, canceled. Ipsys automatically activate newly downloaded firmware when they are reset, meaning if power goes out, you go physically reset that board, someone resets that board, that Ipsy circuit pack will then be upgraded. Uh, so just take take heed when you're when you're upgrading these things. Okay, since again, this is not a duplicated system, uh, I'm going to go ahead and select all Ipsys uh, with the board that I have, which are the BPs. I'm going to start the download immediately when I, when I click download. <clears throat> and then I go locate the file that I downloaded to update these boards. So once I scroll down here, you'll see a list of files, and I select the one I downloaded that matched the file uh, that you saw me upload earlier. Uh, when I click on download firmware, <clears throat> again, there's there's going to be activity that says, you know, there's a there's a download in progress, and it takes about five to seven minutes of board. So in the interest of time, uh, I'm showing you what happens after they're all downloaded, and you can see it shows success. Once they've all downloaded, you can go activate these Ipsys, and what that basically means is you're going to go reset the Ipsys. So go in and... It, oh, again, if you want to keep checking the status of the downloads, you just keep clicking the download status or hit the refresh button, and you, you'll see those lines added in there as the firmware is downloaded. Okay, just a quick note on that. So we're going to activate these Ipsys, and the way to do this, uh, when I found successful, is I select all my Ipsys. Uh, again, resetting them. This is doing a reset uh, of the Ipsy board to activate that newly downloaded firmware. So I'm going to select on all Ipsys here. Select it. Come on. Select it. Thank you. All right. So I select all Ipsys, and I want it to occur right away. Uh, you can schedule it, as you can see, but I'm going to have this one do, uh, do the activation right away. And when I click the activation Ipsy upgrade, it's pretty quick, uh, less than a minute, because it goes and resets the boards and brings it back online. And you can see, again, by the time you click on activation status, it's going to say, okay, those are successfully reset. Once you do that, uh, you can open up a command window <clears throat> and ping the boards to see if they're starting to respond. You can go do, uh, you know, do a list config on the board to validate the firmware has been there or has been upgraded for the Ipsys. 
Um, but one of the things that I do uh, as part of it as, as a check is to make sure they're all communicating so you can go status the IPSES, uh status the, uh, the gateways, make sure they're talking back to the communication manager. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell on upgrading uh, the IPSI boards, IPSI uh, circuit packs in a non-duplicated system, meaning a non-IPSI duplication, because it is, it's going to affect the calls. It's going to affect everything on that board. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so once I do that, I'm going to uh, click on Query All, my IPSI versions again, and you can see the hardware version and the firmware version. The firmware is now showing 54. So I can see all my boards have been successfully upgraded to the uh, latest firmware that I downloaded, and you're good to go. So hope you guys liked. Please subscribe, like, comment, tell your friends, and I appreciate it. Talk to you later. Bye.